Alright. So today, I'm going to talk about a few stories that went on in my job. I work at a cell phone spot, so a lot of crazy shit be happening. So, um, I'm going to put you guys on. I'm going to start from where where I last um, played. So, bam. First story. What's the first story? Alright, so I work at a cell phone place, and you get a lot of people bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? You get a lot of people that it's consumerist America. You know what I'm saying? So, you get those people that they walk into a store where the employee's getting paid minimum wage and think just because it's a corporation, they're entitled to everything. You know what I mean? So, um, hold on. Let me, let me lower the volume on this part. So, um, yeah, we go Consumers America, any viewers out there, please think twice when you walk into a business and you think you're the shit, I'm saying we're paid to deal with your shit, I'm saying if you're a respectable, respectable, nice person, then it's a little bit worth it, okay? I'm gonna be nice to you. Um, you're gonna treat me like a human. I'm gonna, you know, treat you like a human. But when people play the game like, oh, you have to treat me like a human, and I get to treat you like a dog. Nah, man, that ain't right, man. We gotta deal with it, but it, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, bam. I'm gonna give you a story from my old job. This is a funny ass story. It's semi funny. Depends how anal you guys are. Whatever. Um, I used to work at a business corporation that was um, reformed by Mitt Romney. It rhymes with Paples. Right? You guys already know what it is, but I don't want to say it because you know what I'm saying. It should be happening. Uh, so I'm working here. I used to work at the towards the end of that job. I used to work at the copy center, but then like um, when I started and when the situation happened, I was a merchandiser. Which what a merchandiser does is. They stalk, they walk around, answer people's questions, ask people's questions. You know what I'm saying? I'm a. I like to believe I'm a pretty good employee, you know what I'm saying? I try I try to help everybody as much as I can. Uh so I'm sitting there stalking everything up and all of a sudden this guy comes in. He comes in and he sees I'm Spanish. So he skips everybody skips all the workers there he had the register he had two other workers there and he goes straight for the Spanish guy you know what I'm saying and he's Spanish himself so um he goes straight to the back of the store where I'm stocking because you stock at the back of the aisles so you just won't be stocking in front of everybody which is understandable Dude comes to me. I'm like sitting there, like, okay, let me answer dude's question. He needs help. He's Spanish. He might not know English. Blah blah. blah. He comes at me with two things in his hand. Actually, it's one thing in his hands, but it's two. Basically, he's holding it with both hands, very carefully. So I'm like, okay, okay. Comes at me with these things in his hand, and I'm not paying attention. I'm like, he's like, mi amigo, which means my friend. Me puede ayudar? Can you help me? I was like, I'm like, yeah. So I'm, 
I'm thinking to myself, okay, this this dude needs um something laminated at the copy center. He's like, so I'm like, yeah, just follow me. I'm not too good at Spanish, so I was just trying to not have to use my Spanish skills and go on with what I was doing. You know what I'm saying so. Um, so I'm like, obviously, this guy wants something laminated. You know what I'm saying? So, I gear him towards the copy center, and uh, he's still asking me if I can help him. I'm, I said, look, don't worry. They know what you want, and they'll help you. And I walk away because I have to do, you have to understand, in these corporate ran jobs um, you know what I'm saying basically you get paid minimum wage and you have to do six seven eight nine ten different jobs at the same time I mean it's not a hard job but what it was too is I was doing a lot of other people's jobs because everybody was slack and I was the only one working you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to get back to my job. I'm trying to get back, get the shit done so my boss or my manager doesn't um doesn't get on my ass because you have to understand also what happens in minimum wage jobs is you get a lot of asshole managers. I think in every minimum wage job I had, I had to deal with an asshole manager. You know what I'm saying? And that's what makes it really not worth it. Because now you're unhappy. This dude is flexing his power because, you know what I'm saying, he he was ignored by all the girls at school when he was growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has that attitude. Bam. So, back to the story. I'm walk away, start doing my job like I'm supposed to. And then all I hear is this yell. And I don't pay it any mind because we get a lot of crazy customers, you know, at that at that job. So I'm like, fuck, it's another crazy customer. And then I hear another yell. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then as I go to see what's going on, the guy is storming out. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck? Like, this thing... We knew what he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so... I asked the guy at the copy center, my good friend Nate. Um... Um, what the hell happened? And he's like... He's telling me... Break up into that the groups. dude, what You'll was in his hands... Was an long. INS card. Right? Of somebody else. So I in this car to somebody else and he was holding a cutout picture of himself a very low quality cutout picture of himself on top of the other person's face and wanted us to laminate it oh I started rolling and then he said on top of all that when I said I can't do that because it's illegal, that's I'm paraphrasing it. When I said I can't do that because it's illegal, he said I was discriminating. Right so he said discrimination, and that's the, what I heard him yell. I was rolling. How the fuck did that happen? I was dying. So he's he he yelled discrimination. And ran out. <laughs> the matter of fact, I got it wrong. He 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 had discrimination, and he's like, "You have to do it for us." And then my my coworker goes, "Man, if I'm being so racist and discriminatory, I think I need to go to jail. Let's call the police." And that's when he said discrimination again that's when he yelled again and then ran out uh, I was rolling when he told me that 
I was like, wow, you serious, dude? <laughs> that's one of, that's like one small story out of many, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? Let's see. You're almost at the mine. Watch out for enemy reinforcements. You know, in the city I live in is Stanford, Connecticut. There's a lot of um, there's a, there's a lot of illegal people, man. And I don't really give a fuck if you're illegal in this country. I mostly give a fuck about the the tax situation. For me, no one should be able to should even have to pay tax. And we need to make it easier for people to get legal visas. But um, as of now, illegal people are violating the law. I'm saying, don't think they should deserve to go to jail or be deported. I think they all should have a chance, but they're violating the law. They come in this country already violating the law. I'm a Latino myself, so I sympathize. Like I understand. I understand. Like some, certain countries, it's not easy. But whatever. That's like my personal opinion. Doesn't make me hate them or give them an attitude or whatever. You know, everybody is allowed to live and allowed to live their life. Damn, this nigga crispy right here. Look at this dude. How you crispy and you hanging on? Oh, there you go. Anyways, oh, what's another st another story? Oh, this is not a funny story. This is just like a story about my last week at Staples. Freaking Staples. Damn, I said the name. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I haven't seen Staples. It was. It was not the best job. I think. I'm not going to blame it on every Staples. But the Staples I worked at was not the best situation for. for I'll say anybody. The shit was kind of. They expect a lot, and they don't. They don't pay. They don't pay, and they expect you to deal with a lot of bullshit. So um. In my last week at Staples, I was working at the copy center. Get this. Before I even explain this, I was working at Staples for. Two and a half years in my and I was one of the best employees there. You can even ask the employees that work there, like well you can't because you don't know them, but fucking basically I was the one that could do anything because I build computers for a living. They didn't even give me the job of tech because they just didn't wanna they refused to give me a raise. They they were kinda trying to capitalize on their deal. See what I'm saying? So, um, I was doing every, every, um, every department, and they like that shit, so, because when people call out, or when they cut budget, they just get me to work, and bam, they don't have to pay anybody else, they just pay me, and I do the whole store. So, when there's 20 customers in the store, and they all have questions, or they have difficult questions that can't be just normally answered in two seconds who's who has to deal with it and I have to get my daily tasks done so it's like and my boss is still gonna yell at me so it's it, it was technical and irrational at the same time like that shit was stupid and my bosses didn't give a fuck that's the worst man they were double dipping but anyways My last week there, I was working at the copy center. And basically, I was working at the copy center and, um, my bad, I began distracted. I was working at the copy center and right in front of the copy center is the tech aisle, so best believe who's gonna have to deal with all the tech shit? Me. 
And um, you also have to understand the biggest asshole customers you'll ever get. It, I, I swear to God, like if you work at Staples, I suggest you don't work. You try your best to be a really bad employee so they won't promote you without a raise to copy center. It's a lot more responsibility and you deal with, you have to understand consumerism in America means customer is always right. No matter how outlandish and stupid they are, they're right and you can't do anything about it. So you get those customers that come in with like they want to bind 200 documents 200 um, books in an hour and they think you have nothing to do that day so they think right when they walk in the door they're gonna get their shit and they're gonna watch you do it and it's gonna be that quick and no one else came in the store that day and you know what I'm saying so fuck that that shit was so imp that was the most impossible job and ain't nobody was helping nobody and on top of that that's basically what makes the most money for staples but they never invested in workers they never every time I worked I worked alone so it would be two guys in the morning one guy at night and at night is where you get the people that always want to do their last minute shit and on top of that people don't care they don't care that's what that's what's bad about consumerism in America that's how I figured figured out how this country works they really don't care when you go into a store you want your service now not later you really don't give a fuck about what the the customer service agent has to do you don't care at all you just want your shit now fucking so you get those people that come in and they really you can explain to them like look I got you know seven jobs and, and you kind of came at an hour before closing I can't do this for you before closing and they'll get all mad and you get the and the you know what I'm saying like the baby shit basically it's a you're fucking with a bunch of babies and um, they don't understand and they, they'll go oh I'm going to another business that's gonna do it for me in my ir irrational time fuck that fucking um your objective is to destroy that mine so listen closely so with that being said my last week there i was like fuck this this is not for me you know what i'm saying so my last week there i said okay let me just take it easy and let me be the best that i be can be so i won't have some type of thing on my you know work record or my bosses when I want to leave to another job won't say shit, talk shit about me. So the last week I'm there, understand, the store I worked at was in a rich area of Connecticut. Where you got a lot of these insurance firms, a lot of these um, fucking, you know what I'm saying? You, you get a lot of corporate here. A lot of hedge funds. We're talking about people with money. You know what I'm saying that's what you're dealing with. So people with money, they don't care about the human life. They'll do anything they can to make a buck. Just to make a buck. You know what I'm saying? So. You get the irrationality of a rich person that you have to deal with on a daily. You know what I'm saying so. You know, fucking wrong shit. Damn, I'm fucking myself up. Y'all gonna be laughing at me. Um, so this 
these two guys come in. Well, this guy and a girl come in. It was one college student, sweet ass girl. It was one of the days that I was like, oh, okay, this is gonna be a good day today. Sweet ass college student comes in. She she needs to print out her design for her finals. Bam. I had a lot of shit to do that day, but I was just like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Let me print this shit out for her quick. You know, no biggie. That's an easy, quick job. Um, then, um, shit. Die, die, die. Then this guy, they both came in at the, kind of the same time. This um, guy had a, a, basically a plan. It was a contractor that had a plan that needed a, he needed a copy for the city to build some section of the house or whatever. So he, you know, when you have to get a architecture approved, basically what the dude was doing. You needed um, some architecture approved, and you needed to print out these big, massive white plants. So they both came in super respectful, you know, super timid, super like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they came in nice as fuck. So I was, just, I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna help them the best I can. So I'm starting to do that, mind you. One can only do one thing at a time. So the guy came first and the girl came after. But he, the guy was like, okay, no, you go, you go ahead. Your thing is smaller. Don't worry. You know, work with me. So the nigga was kind of nice. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, bad. He's cool. And the girl was like, oh, I appreciate it so much. And she was telling me thank you to me. That, those were the type of customers that I love to... You know what I'm saying? Nice work. Um, so, I'm doing her thing. Mind you, the guy is waiting very patiently. Her thing ends up taking like 15 minutes to do. Um, the guy's waiting very patiently. And he's next. There's no doubt about that. He's next. This rich lady comes in. I know she's rich because the purse, the get up, and the attitude. Freaking, she comes in and she starts using the self use cop copy machine. And I have trouble with like, just determining who's on my side and who's not. So she starts using the self use copy machine. And she starts. Excuse me! Excuse me! Hello! And I'm like, yo, don't you see me with a customer? She's, hello! Excuse me! Can I get some help over here? Oh my gosh! She's like, I said, ma'am, can you please wait a second? Because I'm kind of with a customer right now. I'll help you right when I'm done. Um, you know, just give me a second. She's like, She's sitting there having a tantrum. She's like, oh, the customer service here is horrible. I'm like, ma'am, please just give me a second. I'll get to you once this is all done. It'll only take me like five minutes. She's like, but what if I can't wait five minutes? I'm like, oh, man. So, so I go over there and I help her. And of course, her question was some stupid ass shit. Where do I put my card? I'm like, oh god. So I show her where to put the card. Two seconds later, hello? Can I have more service here? I'm like, all right, man. What now? Because I was in that area. Because at this moment, the girl, I was printing out the girl's project. And as I was doing that, I was getting the guy's shit, his plans, and the plan machine is right next to the self-copiers. She goes, um, hello, hello, uh, 
these stupid machines don't staple. And I'm sitting here thinking in my mind, no, stupid motherfucker, you just don't know how to fucking read. And but then I was like, ma'am, no, I, I, you know, I came respectful. Can't go in this motherfucker. I came respectful. I said, ma'am, all you gotta do is click one staple on the left, and everything you'll do from now on out will get stapled. Say, ha! Your customer service is horrible. I'm like, whoa, damn! Like I just came. I interrupted whatever I was doing, these two customers are waiting, and you're sitting here fucking having a tantrum? Come on now. Now she's like, I go back to what I was doing, I'm trying to finish these people because they're sitting there like, dude, I know she's a bitch, but I was first, so you gotta kinda put your foot down. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And she goes, she does it again. She does the obnoxious hello. I said, ma'am, th this time you gotta wait. This time you gotta wait. She's then she's like, ha! Oh! And then she tries to do it on her own again. So while I'm checking the girl out, I'm done with the girl. The guy shit is printing. Checking the girl out. She's like, can I please get some help over here? You you guys just don't give any help. I'm like, ma'am, I helped you two times. It's you've only been in the store for about five minutes. Just please. At this point, I'm I'm ticked. I'm like, fuck. This bitch is is fucking crazy or something. Like, I'm ticked. I was like, ma'am, you only been in the store for five minutes. Um. If you can give me a if you can give me a second, let me just check this person out. I can help you. No, but I need service now. I'm like, ma'am, we're both you. I told her just like this, cause I got so mad after after all the attitude. She, I'm like, ma'am, we're both human beings. Please talk to me like a human being, and I'll treat you like a human being too. You can't just treat me any type of way you want to. She's like, you talk to your customers like that? And I said, no, man. I'm just trying to let you know that I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me. And plus, I'm taking my time out of these customers that have been here before you to help you. And you obviously don't care. She's like, she's like, um, well, can you give me change for this money? And since I'm so, like, sidetracked by her attitude, um, she gave me $20. I opened the register. And, um, I took out only 10 Oh, no, I took out two fives. And I said, no, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry, sir. I got the I got the story fucked up. She actually used the courtesy card, which is um that's one of the things she was complaining about. A courtesy card is when basically they want to pay cash for self copies, um or they don't want to pay the credit card at the machine, which makes no sense. So um she uses a courtesy card and she goes. Can you at least ring me out? And I said, ma'am, you know, I'm trying to ring out somebody else. And then at that point, I was just like, fuck it. This girl's going to have to wait. I want to get rid of this bitch because she's taking too much, much uh, out of my time. So I'm like, ma, I know you were here first, but as you can see, you know, the, you know, I'm trying to, it's better if I just do this and, um, I hope you I'll get you right after. So she does like a thirteen dollar order and since I wasn't and she gave me she did like a fourteen I remember it was over fifty cents. Basically she did a fourteen fifty dollar order and uh fourteen dollars and fifty cents and I gave her just a receipt back.
I didn't give her any money back. Bam. She's like, where's my 50 cents? And I'm like, ma'am. At this point, I'm like, fuck. Because this is the last thing I wanted to happen. Because now she has some leverage to actually bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck. Ma'am, I'm going to have to call the manager or I can give you the 50 cents right out of my pocket. She's like, I don't want your money. I'm like, okay, why not? She's like, because you're poor. I'm like, I, and at that point, I was already working at my other job. My other job, I did home care. I was making about $2,000 every two weeks. So I was making a G a week. I just cashed my check and I had $2,000 in there. I said, ma'am, ain't nobody poor here. And since I already had my wallet out and I was going to get her the 50 cents, she looked at my wallet and she felt stupid. She's like, I'm definitely talking to your manager. She talked to the manager. Long story short, she was just a bitch. The manager was like, she was a bitch. Don't worry. And the manager, that manager didn't even like me. And she just, the manager was like, I hope she never comes back here again. Fucking crazy. Yeah, but that's another consumer story that I got. I'm trying to figure out what's a funny one. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Y'all probably over here saying, uh, probably like, yo, nigga, do the mission. I still don't know the buttons. I gotta figure out how to run. There we go. Um. Oh, here's a good one. So I, I'm working at Boost Mobile. Which Boost Mobile is actually not a bad part-time job to work for. If you know any Boost Mobiles in your area, I highly recommend if you have, if you're like young, you know what I'm saying? It's not the best job. I'm not going to say it's the best job, but you get a lot of hours depending on your location and if if the shit is popping your your pocket's gonna be popping you're just gonna have no life you feel me so shit what the fuck am i doing i want to know what the hell i'm supposed to do oh um so i work at a blue smoke right and we have two locations in the city and i mean Basically, Boost Mobile, what it is, is it's a private business. You see a Boost Mobile, it's not owned by the corporation. The P Somebody buys the name. Someone buys the franchise name. And basically, they could sell the phones exclusively. And they could do any whatever the fuck else they want with their location. Because, like, if you go into a Sprint, they only sell Sprint shit. When our Boost Mobiles, we sell Boost Mobile phones, TVs, we, we flip, you know what I'm saying? And we can, um, what you call it, what do you call that when you bargain with somebody? Like how they doing, um, you know, markets, like you can bargain the price? I don't know, someone comment what that means. Look at this nigga right here. Bust rhymes. Here we go, y'all. Woo-ha, woo-ha. Motherfuckers wanna represent. I'm Buster Rhymes and I be on some shit. Motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep the boring machine running. It needs to run non stop for 90 seconds to force a malfunction. Okay. How am I supposed to keep that shit running? How come I don't got a map if this shit is going? Anyway. So we have two locations. One location is a uh, is um the main location, and I work at the side location. The main location is in like the downtown area. The side locations are um, the side location is in the hood, and um. Basically, we're pretty well known. We're one of those 
businesses that everybody knows us. When I walk down the street, there's somebody that I know that messes with me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and everybody knows my boss, especially. You know what I'm saying? He's a, you know, he hooks people up. Yeah. The hookup, basically. You need something, we, we make it happen. Um, so, since this, the store is fairly new, people don't know that we're linked. We're, you know what I'm saying? We're a linked store. So, this guy comes in, and basically, the difference between me and the other store is basically, I run the store by myself. The other store where my boss is at, he doesn't, he he has employees there, he has like three people there at a time, where I'm the only one for six days of the week that works there, man. So people kind of like my service a little more because, it, you know, it's slower in my area, fucking, you know what I'm saying, so I get to focus more on people. That day, the shit was, this day, the shit was packed. It was packed, new phone came out, so cats were buying the new shit. And I'm helping this guy out, and I just sold him a phone. Bam, my boss walks in the door. But no one knows, like, the people who know, like, everybody knew it was my boss. But the guy was helping, while I was helping him, he was talking shit about the other location. He was like, yeah. The guys in the other location, they steal your, they, no, they, uh, sell you bad phones, and they're rude, and blah, 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 and my boss just walked in the door, and I, and he didn't realize that my boss is the same nigga from downtown, so this nigga's going in, so right when I see my boss come in, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this nigga, and I started saying, it was in Spanish, I was like, yeah, if you know the, the Dominican guy with the glasses, which is my boss, I'm talking about my boss, yeah, that nigga ugly, he's mad ugly, right, he's mad ugly, he's like, yeah, they're ugly over there, and I was like, yeah, they, they sell you stolen phones, and they sell you all this, you know what I'm saying, they sell you all this stuff, he's like, yeah, my friend told me, they sell all this bootleg shit, and my boss is right there, <laughs> talking shit, so this dude's talking shit about my boss, and, this, and, and, and he's standing right there, he doesn't notice, and then my boss joins in, and he's like, yeah, and they do this, and they do that, that shit was hilarious, <laughs> yo, this shit got be happening, man, I'm a little tired right now, I know I said that in the last video, but, fucking, basically been sleep deprived for the last few days um so this game is this um gameplay wasn't as cool or is you know what I'm saying as entertaining as you thought it might have been stay tuned because it will get better as the days go on um now, as I get comfortable on the mic, because it's still a little weird, you know what I'm saying? Gaming and talking. Shit is a little weird, but. What are we going to do? Um. What else can I talk about? Now. Trying to figure out if I want to talk about more job shit. Oh, okay. I'll talk about my pops. Nah, I don't know if I want to talk about that. I gotta be more hyped because it will be like one of them jokes that you tell and it didn't come out funny because of the way you told it. So you're sitting there waiting for. A reaction. So I'll tell that story the, the next time. Man. Hyper. Um, yeah, man. Yo, everybody, leave a comment. If you have this game, I will do gameplays with you. So 
leave a comment. I want to involve people, you know, viewers in this shit. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, it's high quality gaming. And, you know, you get to talk your shit too. It won't just be me. I want to hear about your life. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, holla at me. I mean, oops. Whatever game you got, let me know. I might have that shit. Did I just die? I definitely don't want to do this shit. Anymore. How that be? Cause I'm I'm going ham on the gameplays. Like I'm, you gotta understand. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what I'm gonna do for the next. I don't know how long. But this is what this is what I wanna do. So how that be? Might be getting the new Resident Evil. I'm definitely getting the new Assassin's Creed. Um. Yeah, man. Might be getting the new Resident Evil depending on who the fuck is gonna play. It. Um, my lady, she might play with me, but I want some of the viewers to join in on the fun. Um, also, I'm gonna do Madden gameplays. Um, my lady's father has a league going on, so. I suck at Madden, I'm not gonna front it. That game has changed over the years. You know, every fucking throw you throw is an interception. I don't get the game yet. Should have crazy. Um, I don't know what to talk about. Rest in peace, Chris Lighty. Rest in peace, Michael Clark Duncan. It's starting to melt fun. Now get the hell out of there. Uh oh, shit, Move it. We gotta get to the pizza party. Oh shit. Press L1 and R1. Oh shit, my nigga died. Oh, that pepperoni smelled so delicious. What the fuck? Nigga, I'm waiting for them anchovies. Oh, finally, we made it to the spot. Let's roll out. Gotta get that pizza. Turtle time. Alright. So I'm done. Mission completo. So, um... Just let me know what you want me to play, if there's anything on PSN. Um, if you want to join in, I got Lost Planet 2, I got UFC, Uncharted, DC Universe, my girl's going to do some Final Fantasy, I got Street Fighter, De Deus Ex, Rayman, just let me know. Let's do it. Peace, niggas.